Discord server, link in the description. <sighs> well, I guess now isn't a better time than any to check up on my pull. I bre like Marina or Cali one. Thanks to my newfound superpower of community posts, I can now see what kind of video you guys would like to see. And honestly, this was a huge surprise for me. I 100% did not expect Agent 4 to win that poll. But you know what? I have the liking of pleasing others, and Agent 4 is my favorite agent after all. On the topic of polls though, there'll be a poll in the description and a pinned comment that'll take you to a poll so you guys can pick whichever character you want me to make a video on next. So, without a doing it any longer, this is everything to know about Agent 4. So, starting us off, Agent 4 is a 14 to 18 year old inkling who comes from somewhere close to Encopolis. It's hard to say exactly where they came from, although strong evidence suggests they came from the land of Loompa Land, where they spent a lot of their time in extracurricular activities. In fact, they were so absorbed in whatever they did in Loompa Land that they never even heard of Callie and Marie, who, at the time, were making their names known basically everywhere. Either way, when the day came when Agent 4 moved to Inkopolis Square, it just so happened that the day prior that not only Callie, but the Great Zapfish disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Talk about bad timing, am I right? Now here's where the events of Splatoon 2 Hero Mode take place with Agent 4 finding Marie, gaining their rank as Agent 4 in the Squid Beak Splatoon, fighting through legions of the Octarian's forces, discovering the culprit behind the disappearance of Callie and the Great Zapfish, and promptly taking said culprit down, with a Rainmaker to the base. Aside from that, Agent 4 makes a living working over at Grizzco. So Agent 4 being a blank slate character like Agent 8 leaves a lot to the imagination, which in my case here leaves me to scour everything in the game of Splatoon 2 about Agent 4 like some sort of stalker in order to piece together some semblance of personality. Now we know Agent 4 participated in plenty of extracurricular activities. After all, how else would they keep up with whatever the Octo Canyon throws at them? Heck, it even says so in the Splatoon 2 arc book. Considering Agent 4's age range between 14 and 18, it's generally safe to assume they graduated school. Uh, who knows, in Inklings do gain the ability to change between humanoid and squid forms freely at the age of 14, so maybe that's the age of maturity for Inklings. Anyways, Agent 4 likely was extremely dedicated to sports and other physical activities, and this is by Inkling terms. Since most Inklings prioritize fun and sports over studies, and the ones who do take their studies seriously often don't for long, it's just kind of in the Inkling nature. Four likely barely spent any time on the internet as well since they managed to avoid hearing anything about the Squid Sisters. Heck, Agent 4 doesn't even watch TV. Something that can definitely be discerned is that Agent 4 has much better hygiene practices than Agent 3. Marie herself does mention that Agent 3 is not that great at hygiene. From this we can piece together enough to get what is probably the closest to a personality Agent 4 will ever get. 4 is most likely a very extroverted cephalopod and cannot stand not being busy, and goes out of the way to find work wherever they can, as long as it involves physical activity of some kind. They also always want to be the best version of themselves, and take care to make sure that they always looking snazzy and fashionable. Funnily enough, this is not far off from a lot of the community who uses Agent 4's personality. It really goes to show how well Nintendo is able to express their characters despite some of them not even saying a word. Now personally, I believe Agent 4 to be the most mysterious of the agents. M minus, of course, the elusive Agent 7 though. Unlike Agent 8, there isn't much in the way of Agent 4 interacting with their fellow agents. As far as anything official goes, I'm pretty sure the final fest is as far as them interacting goes. Not even the amazing Splatoon relationship chart has anything to offer in this category. I don't know, they probably are friends, but there really isn't anything to go off of. Although I do imagine Agent 4 would get along very well with Agent 8. I personally can't think of any better candidate to introduce 8 to everything Inkling than Agent 4, considering how into the fun and sport of it they are. Now I'm all sure you want me to go into 4's very one-sided chats where they have with Marie. It's a well-known fact that Marie thinks that Agent 4, in the words of Marie herself, is adorable. You can interpret that in whichever way you want. And we can see Callie acting fully like herself with 4 around. I like to think that 4 does sometimes treat Callie and Marie to the crust bucket every now and then with the money they make from Guzco. 
Agent 4 Trivia Ahoy! Marie mentions that Agent 4's hero suit is a hand-me-down, but never said who originally owned it. In the Splatoon 2 handbook, it mentions that the hero suit was actually previously owned by Callie. Now regarding Agent 4's age, the whole time I've been calling 4 between the ages of 14 and 18, which admittedly is a pretty big gap. The reason why is because Marie mentions that 4 is 2 years older than Agent 3, who at the release of Splatoon 2 was 16. The answer seems very cut and dry. There's the answer right there, right? Problems start, though, when you look at the dialogue in the Japanese version in the game and notice that Marie doesn't say a word about Agent 4's age. Personally, I like to think that Agent 4 is 14, and Marie just assumes 4 is age without asking first, because that's kind of funny to me. That's definitely something Marie would do. While you as the player can pick Agent 4's gender, 4 is the only agent that has been depicted as a girl more often than not in official art. There's very little art showing 4 as a boy, most notably a small segment in the credits showing Agent 4 as a boy but those same credits also show 4 as a girl. This is a pretty far cry from Agent 3 and 8, who are both depicted as a boy and girl across several pieces of art equally. Maybe female is Agent 4's canon gender? Probably not to be honest, but hey, it's trivia, am I right? And with that, I think that is pretty much everything there is to know about Agent 4. Now, as I've said at the start of the video, there will be a poll linked in the description and a pinned comment that you, yes you, can influence the character you would like me to cover next. And while you're at it, might as well join the Discord, yeah? Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you legends next time. Bye bye